Hi, this is Habiba. In this session, we are going to discuss the uh, step one for IPM analysis. Um, the step one is the requirement check. So, IPM uh, application has to meet three criteria. Number one, the rescaling of the latent variable scores on a range from zero to hundred requires all indicators in the PLS path model to use a metric or quasi metric scale as per Sastad and Moe 2014. As we know that uh, the metric scale is uh, used and we have the numerical data of our quantitative variables and it could be the absolute scale or interval or the ratio scale and uh, in case of the interval scale we assume that suppose in case of Likert scale which is 1 to 5 scale or 1 to 7 or 1 to 10 scale we assume that the distance between to 1 to 2 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 are same. So your uh, data should be on the metric scale like a Likert scale and the second, second criteria is that the uh, the scale should have a uh, uh, direction from least agreement to highest agree that is your 1 should represent the least agree while 5 or 7 or 10 should represent the uh, highest level of agreement because the minimum value of an indicator must represent the worst outcome and the maximum value must represent the best outcome of that indicator. Otherwise, you cannot conclude that the higher latent variable scores um, uh, represent better performances. If the indicator coding has a different direction compared to the other indicators in the measurement model, that is a high value represent a negative outcome, we must reskill the indicator. For that case, the indicator coding needs to be ch changed by worse coding. That is, on a, suppose on a 5 point Likert scale, uh, the 5 becomes 1, 1 becomes 5, 4 becomes 2, and 2 becomes 4, and 3 remains unchanged. Third, the regardless of the measurement model being formative or reflective, the outer weights estimate should be positive. Because if the outer weights are negative, the latent variable scores will not fall within the range of 0 to 100. Instead, they show the range between or minus 5 and 95 and as you know that there are different reasons for negative outer weight so if in, uh, your outer weight is appear significant but it's negative then uh, a reverse coding could be a better option and because in that case you might it's indicated that, uh, the, that some of the indicators um, uh, are uh, have uh, another direction of their scale as compared to the other indicators in the measurement model. In case of non-significant outer weights, uh, the researcher might consider removing those indicators uh, because as we you know, uh, suppose in case of variance inflation factor, VIF, values of 5 and higher indicates a potential culinary problems uh, that is as per Hertel 2016. Uh, so researcher might uh, remove this indicator but here at L2016 suggests that there are some other consideration also that you need to uh, uh, mention before deleting any of the indicator. So researchers should carefully consider the PLS path model setups that favor IPMA use on the indicator level when a little variable of high priority for a specific target construct is identified. It is particularly advantageous to further analyze this predecessor's construct measurement model on the indicator level. Such an assessment is particularly useful when you use of uh, the indicator described expected uh, shape the corresponding constructs and uh, while their weights indicate each aspect important in this respect. So, uh, therefore, the underlying construct with high weight should be given more attention to identify managerial action aiming to improve the target construct performance. IPMA can be applied to both reflective and formative model as the IPMA builds on the outer weights and we can easily get the outer weights also in the reflective model. And in this context, it is important to know that the distinction between the reflective and formatively specified constructs refers to the ways how researchers develop uh, proxies for the conceptual variables 
and the resulting measurement approaches. CPLS SAM readily process uh, form uh, process both reflective and formative specified contra constructs and it does so by linearly combining indicators to form composite variables. These composite variables are treated as proxies of the concept under investigation as per written 2012 and 2014 and serve as an input for IPMA in our step 2. Thank you. So next session we will discuss uh, how to compute the uh, performance values. Uh, thanks.